In today's guide in under 5 minutes, Ash. I mean, Ash. Ash is a champion of brute force. She got her title, The War Machine, after being the last one standing in battlefields time after time. Her primary fire is a cannon that fires shrapnel rounds every 0.6 seconds that each deals 400 damage on direct impact or slightly less in the blast radius it has. Her cannon has a reload time of 1.5 seconds. Her secondary fire is a small knockback that takes 1 second to wind up and then deals 450 damage when used. It consumes 1 ammo when fired. Her first ability is called Seed Shield and it will make you deploy a small shield that has 5000 HP and slowly moves in the direction it was thrown. Her second ability is called Shoulder Bash. Using this ability it takes 1 second to wind up and then it will hurl you in the direction you are looking, dealing 800 damage and a strong knockback if you do get in contact with an enemy. Finally, her ultimate. A certain dominance will make you jump in the air and when you land you place down a flag, stuns enemies hit for 2 seconds, deals 600 damage to them and it creates a damage immune zone for 8 seconds while standing near it. Phew, that's one hell of an ability. To her talent. Before I go through them, I'll have to congratulate Evil Mojo for this. Ash's talents are some of the best balanced talents in the game. All can be used at different times in different situations. The first one is called Batting Ram. This fella gives you 90% damage reduction while winding up your shoulder bash. Pretty simple, but very strong if used right. It can nullify higher amounts of burst damage. Imagine if you see Terminus using his ultimate, about to deal 4000 damage to you. Just time the shoulder bash and it turns into 400 damage. Second one is Slugshot. Slugshot makes your primary weapon shots travel 50% faster and 100% further, but they will no longer be blast damage. If your aim is decent and you are on a map that is good for snipers, this talent will help you out by being able to poke the backline more easily, without having to use your entire body to engage in a fight. Her last talent is called Vulture's Breaker. It makes your siege shield move 80% slower, give 3000 more health and make it 50% larger. Not a lot of people pick Rekka against Ash, so picking one of the other two talents, then switching right before the round begins will make your shield amazing at holding a point fight. For loadouts, they all depend on what talent you pick. If you go with a talent for the shield, cards like Bellman, Ramparts and Siege Engine are very good, while going for her shoulder bash talent will make Gatecrasher and Vanguard close to a must have. Some of her current strong cards would be Heavy Metal and Indomitable, since it helps her a lot to her sustain towards the beginning of the round, and when people start getting high level cold tries, your extra health might be a lifesaver for you. Each Ash main has their own personal preferences, so it's all about testing the cards before you decide on your final loadout. Oh, this guide was much faster than expected. We're already at the item section. Cauterize, 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 and again Cauterize. It's such a strong card, it will nearly always affect the match in one way or another and it will help you win point fights a lot more because of your blast damage affecting everyone else standing there. Get it to level 2, then move on. Now, as a tank, you of course need Rejuvenate. It directly neglects Cauterize, so if you have a decent heal, you will be able to sustain a lot more in the late game fights. Get it to level 2, best for free, and then move on. Going with a utility card. Morale boost and master running good choices and with defensive cards, you just pick whatever you need. Fighting a lot of direct damage? Haven. Fighting a lot of blast damage? Blast shield. Fighting a lot of crowd control? Resilience. Illuminate would be the only card you should pick on Ash in this category. Last off, Ash is in a really good spot right now. She's not overpowered, but certainly not bad. Once you get better at using her and knowing when to do what, you will find it pretty easy to sustain against other tanks and winning 1 vs 1s against damage or flank champions that didn't surprise you. Bomb King can be a hard champion to deal with, especially if he's running chain reaction. Also, when you use your ult, you have to be sure when you are doing it. A lot of champions have abilities that can change while you land or even fully stop you while you are in the air using it. Jinnus lifting you or Makoa hooking you are good examples. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Make sure to check out some of my other guides if you want to become a real champion. And if you like what I'm doing, remember to subscribe so I can grow. And, well, peace!